I recently had a very harrowing experience with my MacBook Pro while doing Final Cut Pro editing when my external hard drive failed and gave me this message. I had literally gotten to the very end of editing that video. I was just about to start exporting it when that happened. Honestly, my heart sank. Luckily, I found a Final Cut Pro backup with a roughly the same date timestamp as to when I was last editing in the middle of the night. And thankfully, the hard drive that failed, if I couldn't write to it, but I could at least copy the original clips, put them onto a different external hard drive. And then I was able to take this backup file from Final Cut Pro. Little by little, I was able to sort of piece it back together. I was able to export it and get the video posted. I was so glad, but I realized I need to get a solid state drive, something a little more reliable, I found this sand disc listed on Costco's website for sale. It's got a nice texture. I can't believe how small that is for two terabytes. Solid state drive. That's really nice. Comes with oh look, it comes with a little carabiner. USB-C to USB-A adapter, USB-C to USB-C cable. That's gonna be really nice for speed on my MacBook Pro, which uses USB-C. So I'm gonna hook it up with a USB-C cable. That way I get the fastest throughput for data in writing as well as reading. The SanDisk, it's basically a big thumb drive. It is such a, a nice little device. I'm really digging it. You see it online, you don't realize how small it is. I want to make sure I also format this drive properly. I could leave it like it is, because then it could be used for both the Windows and the Mac operating systems. However, I know I'm only going to use it for my MacBook Pro, and I want to use it just strictly for editing. There are two formats that you can use to reformat these drives in the Apple world. You can see one of them is made for the time machine. The other one is not. format that allows the fastest use of the drive. I have to format it as one and then format it as the other one in a sort of a two-phase process. I'm really hopeful that it's gonna give me a lot more confidence that I'm not gonna have that same problem happen again. I'm Jim of the Works IL channel. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for coming by. Yeah.